The Lord be with you. I'm Pastor Matt Smith from Bethlehem Evangelical Lutheran Church in Lansing, Michigan. And this is Worship for November 7, 2021, All Saints Sunday. As a first Sunday of the month in this service, we will receive a second offering for the Greater Lansing Food Bank and for our own food pantry. Next Sunday is Mission Sunday. Today's service will include hymns and songs and an anthem from members of our choir as well as our praise team. My sermon, a children's sermon, and my sermon entitled For All the Saints, and readings and prayers from our assisting minister today, Don Tellis. But most importantly, today is All Saints Sunday. And this year, we are calling it All Saints Sunday during the time of COVID-19. And we are honoring all of the saints from our congregation who have died since March of 2020 and when the pandemic began for us. None of our members who passed away were able to have a, a funeral service here at the church and Many of us were not able to go to any private graveside services that were held, that were just family. And so we all still have a lot of grieving to do. And that's what we'll do today in part. Some services happened, of course, graveside services and with just a small number of participants, but And for some of these folks, there has not been a service at all, just a family gathering. So with the name of each individual, we will project their picture and say the date that they died and ring a chime as we remember all the saints, the blessed dead. And if you have someone who is not a member, but you would like to remember them by name, you may do so after I read during the prayers. I will read names of other people who have died within the last year and 10 months or year and year and a half, whatever it is, since March of 2020. Pray their name in your heart or even say it out loud as we remember them for the saints that they were. Of all the three years in our lectionary cycle, our cycle of readings, of all the three years, this year's All Saints readings have the most tears. 
Isaiah looks forward to the day when God will wipe away all tears. And in John's Gospel, Jesus weeps along with Mary and all the gathered mourners before he demonstrates his power over death. On All Saints Day, we celebrate the victory won for all the faithful dead, but we grieve our beloved dead as well. Knowing that God honors our tears, we bring our grief to the table. We bring our grief to God's house and find there a foretaste of Isaiah's feast to come. Now, as you are able, please join us for our confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who calls us into everlasting hope, who guides us to springs of the water of life, who enlightens us with the spirit of freedom. Amen. One with the communion of saints in all times and places, let us confess our sin against God and one another. O God, our merciful Redeemer, we confess that the ways we live only for ourselves, we fail to see you in our neighbor's face. We turn our ears from voices that cry out. We pass by the hungry and the oppressed. In your great mercy, forgive our sin and strengthen us for service to all in need. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for you. And for his sake, God forgives you all your sin. Blessed are you. Rejoice and be glad, beloved people of God. Amen. On this All Saints Sunday, we remember Don Gaunt, March 29th, 2020. And we remember Dorothy Weber, July 3rd, 2021. Following this remembrance, we will sing How Great Thou Art, which was a favorite hymn for Dorothy. And following each of the remembrances, we will sing a hymn selected by their family or known by members of our congregation to be a hymn that was meaningful to these blessed saints. So we sing, How Great Thou Art.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And today we remember Chris Ransom, September 29th, 2020. And we remember Stephen Buchner, February 3rd, 2021. And we sing Amazing Grace. Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one communion in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment, and to know the inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. And we remember Janine Grinnell, May 13th, 2020. And we sing, I love to tell the story.
Good morning. Thank you for coming up today to, to pay attention to our kids' talk. I wonder, have any of you ever been to a funeral? Have any of you ever known someone who died? Maybe a, a parent or a grandparent or, or another loved one, and maybe you, you were able to go to their funeral. I remember the, the earliest funeral I remember, I was about 12 years old. I think I had been to other funerals before that, but, but the earliest I remember was when I was 12. It was a funeral for my, my grandpa, Harry. And I was with my whole family, and, and we were all sad. And, and I remember at the funeral service, when, when the doors opened, they took the coffin in, and then we followed behind, the family followed behind as we went into the church as, as they were singing a hymn. And, and I remember seeing some of our good family friends. I saw Meg and Jerry, and I saw Adele and Eileen. And I was already sad, but when I saw them, I just started to cry. And I think I cried through the whole funeral service. Well, today we'll hear a story from the Bible about Jesus and one of his good friends who died. And Jesus went to his house and his sister Mary was there. Both his sisters, Mary and Martha, were there. And, and Mary was very upset and there was a crowd of people, all of Lazarus's friends had gathered and they were all sad because their friend had died. And they were sad, and when Jesus saw how sad they were and how upset they were, he got upset. Jesus got sad and started to cry. Well, Jesus got sad because he got sad with them. He knew what he was going to do. He, he knew that, that God, the Father in heaven, would raise Lazarus to new life. But Jesus wasn't sad about Lazarus having died. Laz Jesus was sad because all of Lazarus' family and friends were sad. And so Jesus was sad with them. And that's when people go to funerals, even if it's someone a funeral for someone who you didn't know, maybe it was your friend's grandparent or your friend's parent, and you go to be with your friend. And when your friend is sad, you can be sad. You can be sad with them. That's what we are all called to do as Christians. Let's say a prayer, okay? Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus, who is sad with us, when we are sad. Help us be with others when they are sad to let them know how much they are loved. Amen. Well, thank you for coming up to pay attention today and I hope to see you all again soon. Our first reading comes to us from Isaiah, the 25th chapter, verses 6 through 9. Isaiah sees a vision of the end of days, when the Lord will gather all God's people on God's holy mountain and will prepare for them a rich feast. At this banquet, the Lord will wipe the tears from all eyes, and there will be no more sorrow, for God will destroy death itself. A reading from Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-matured wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-matured wines strained clear. He will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him. 
so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Word of God, Word of Life. On this All Saints Sunday, we remember Don Spensley. April 23rd, 2021. And as we read the 23rd Psalm, we also remember Craig Walker, June 17th, 2020. I will now read Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Through the raising of Lazarus, Jesus offers the world a vision of the life to come, when death and weeping will be no more. The Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away this stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench, because he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We remember Irene Havens, October 1st, 2021. And we remember Donna Burnett, 
July 12, 2020. I bring you grace, peace, and love in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For all the saints, in the gospel for this Sunday, we read that when Jesus sees the emotion of his friend Lazarus, his sister, and and all his friends who have gathered at his tomb, Jesus begins to weep. Jesus cries. I've really been struck this year by his empathy. There was no need for Jesus to cry. As the eternal word, Jesus was God. Jesus was with God in the beginning and not a single thing came into being without Jesus. So he must have known. He must have known what he was going to do or what God the Father in heaven would do. So there was no reason for him to cry at the death of Lazarus. He would see his friend again in just a few moments. But he wasn't crying because Lazarus was dead. The text tells us that Jesus was deeply moved. In other places in Scripture, this same word is also translated as disturbed, upset, troubled, or even agitated. This is what Jesus was feeling. And I think that he was upset because he saw how upset Mary was and Lazarus's friends were. So upset by how upset they were that he was overcome by emotion, the outpouring of love for his friend. Jesus wept with all the saints. He cried with them. And that is often what we do at funerals. At times when we see others upset, we cry with them. In the children's message, you heard me speak about my maternal grandfather's funeral. My emotions were stirred by seeing how many people had come to be sad with us. Our family and friends were not not nearly as upset at my grandfather's passing as my family was, my grandmother, my aunts and uncles, my cousins. The other mourners had come to share in our emotion, to be sad with us. I believe we call that empathy. Already sad at my grandfather's passing, seeing the outpouring of love from our family friends, I was overcome by emotion. And at that point, I didn't just cry. I sobbed. I sobbed. You all know that I cry. You may know that I cry at at the drop of a hat, it seems. But I'm able to control it for the most part, and I don't really sob. If you've ever seen me sob, you know that, well, I'm a, we call it an ugly crier, but the truth is, there's nothing ugly about emotion. Grieving like this is important. And in this time of pandemic, often we've not been allowed to as we say in polite company, pay our respects at funerals or memorial services. Put more plainly, we haven't been allowed to go and be sad with people who have experienced loss, the loss of a parent or grandparent. We've had to find other ways of showing our empathy, which is what we are doing here today on this All Saints Sunday. But Jesus didn't just cry with the people. They loved his friends so much, but he didn't just cry with them. Jesus looked upward. He looked upward and said, 
Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. And by looking up to heaven, Jesus wanted to make it clear to everyone who had gathered that he was bringing the power of God. And when he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! And with those words, Jesus did for Lazarus' family and friends what they so desperately wanted, to see their brother and friend once more. And the good news for us is that through our trusting faith in what God has done for us in Christ Jesus, we too will see our loved ones once more when we join them in eternal life the feast to come, as we hear from Isaiah. In our mission for all the saints, we can't go and resurrect our loved ones. We can't do that, but we can, like Jesus, be empathetic. Like Jesus, we can go and cry with people who are mourning, with our friends who are mourning. We can choose to be greatly disturbed in spirit because that is what God wants us to do. That is our mission for all the saints. Amen. How is Christ making you whole in the midst of sadness? Who can you be sad with today? We continue in our All Saints Remembrance as we remember Nancy Meisner, April 22nd, 2020. We also remember Jan Grabner, June 11th, 2020. And we sing, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. Gathered with all the saints, let us confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. 
I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we continue in prayer. Eternal God, you hold firm amid the changes of this world. Hear us now as we pray for the church, the world, and everyone in need. We give you thanks for social ministries of the church throughout the world and for every ministry that heals, lifts up, and empowers those who are poor, oppressed, abused, abandoned, or ignored. Be with our presiding bishop, Elizabeth Eaton, and our bishop, Greg Satterley, as they serve to build up your ministries and prosper all works of mercy. We pray this day for Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Jackson and their pastor, Reverend Kate Schroeder, and our partners in ministry at Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota and our Bakerhood neighborhood partners. Provide them with the tools they need to bring your word of love, peace, and compassion to all in their communities. Be with Jason Mills as he continues his studies at Gettysburg Theological Seminary to become a messenger of your word. Protect our LPD community police officer, Sam Candle, as he serves as our neighborhood watch officer. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. We give you thanks for all you have created. Protect our earth from all who would devour its resources. Create and strengthen sustainable communities who honor your creation with loving care. Help us to grow abundant crops with which to feed all people. Help us find new, clean, and sustainable energy sources to help sustain our world. Make us all good and faithful stewards of all you have given us. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. We give you thanks for leaders who seek peace for all nations and who seek greater justice for people everywhere. Accompany all who suffer the wounds of war with veterans who carry the battle scars from the past and all who promote peace for our world. Be with those who serve to protect our nation and our people from harm. We pray especially for Chris Brown, Tyler Barnes, Andrew Devine, Darian Doan, Carson Kozlowski, Joshua Kozlowski. Rusty Landry, Christopher Morgan, Ben Painter, Ryan Schiffner, Jake Sonnenberg, and Eric Wheeler. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. We praise you for plentiful harvests and generous hearts. Send needed resources and caring neighbors to all those in need. We pray for refugees, orphans, widows, those unemployed, those suffering abuse, and all who are in need. Help restore to health all who are sick in any way. We pray especially for Shelby Waters, John Nelson, Yvonne Nelson, Rhoda Hunter, Ruth Ferguson, Mary Ann Allen, Virginia Bauman, 
Mary Brinke, Pasha Brisbow, Lois Carnes, Marv Cole, Crystal Collins, Doug Griffin, Emma Hicks, Amy Hunter, Marilyn Bass Heiser, Nancy Jackson, Marilyn Kostruski, Michael Mahoney, Linda McClellan, Darren Palmer, Gloria Robbins, John Ransom, Carol Rausch, Audrey Skidmore, Cheryl Van Patten, and Matthew White. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. We praise you for missionaries who share your love in new communities and bring compassion for all, especially for John Christian Frederick Heyer, Bartholomew Ziegenball, Ludwig Newmanson, whom we commemorate today. Continue to rise up missionaries for lives of service in your name. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. And we pray for Amanda Leatherberry, Ginny Barnes, Ashley Fernandez, Ginny Garatina, Wendy Prattley, Jim Miller, Matt Anderson, Caleb Crawford, and those we now name before you in our hearts. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. God of the ages, we give you thanks for the saints of this congregation, this family of faith, who have inspired, challenged, loved, and taught us. We remember especially Nick Falsetta, Tom Joseph, Sandy Joseph, James Sweet, and those we name before you in our hearts. Wipe away our tears and lead us by their example until we feast together on your holy mountain. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. God, our protection and strength, we entrust to you all for whom we pray. Remain with us through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Please greet one another with a word of God's peace and love. And as you do so, we will receive our offering for the entire mission and ministry of Bethlehem Evangelical Lutheran Church and an offering for the Greater Lansing Food Bank and our own food pantry. On this All Saints Sunday, we remember Ernie Hassel, who died December 7th, 2020. And we sing, Eternal Father, Strong to Save.
Let us pray. Creator God, you made everything and you provide for every need. The bread we break and the wine we pour come from you. As we eat and drink with thanksgiving, fill us with your love. Let that love flow through us to others and join us to the saints before us in a holy and boundless communion. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we remember Marilee Kilbert, who died November 19th, 2020. And we sing, Abide With Me. Gathered as one in the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our final remembrance on this All Saints Sunday is Margaret Nelson. She died June 15th, 2020. And we sing The Strife is O'er.
go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.